Hello viewers. Today I came with a mechanical process which is called bending. The bending can be classified based on the application of heat. If we are applying heat during or before bending to facilitate it, it is termed as hot or induction bending. If the bends are being done without any heat, which is termed as cold or preform bending. Today our subject is hot or induction bending. Let us start. Induction bending or hot bending is a process where the curvature of the module is changed due to high temperature. Hot induction bends are precisely controlled by bending technique. The component is passed through a bending machine which is efficiently bends the pipe using high frequency induced electrical power. Induction bending is a largely automated and free forming process. The necessary heat for bending is induced in a narrow circumferential band by means of an induction coil which advances continuously along the length of the pipe during bend forming operation. Hot bending is any process where curvature is induced by a load application at an elevated temperature, also known as heat assisted bending. The primary advantage of hot bending is that the material yield strength is lower from the room temperature value requiring smaller forces to be exerted by the bending machine. Let us discuss induction bending process in brief. The following steps are performed for induction bending of pipe or pipeline system. The pre-inspected pipe or pipeline to be bent is placed in the machine bed and clamped hydraulically. Around the pipe, induction heating coils and cooling coils are mounted. To ensure uniform heating, an induction coil can be adjusted with three-plane movement. By adjusting the radius arm and front clamp, the required bend radius can be fixed. There is one pointer to display a correct degree of turning. Arc lengths are marked on the pipe. The pipe can be moved slowly whilst the bending force is applied by a fixed radius arm arrangement. Once everything is set as required, hydraulic pressure, water level and switches are inspected and then the induction bending operation is started. Upon reaching the required temperature range, the pipe is pushed forward slowly at a speed of 10 to 40 mm per minute and the operation is stopped when the specified bend angle and predetermined arc length is reached. Just beyond the induction coil, the heated pipe material is quenched using a water spray on the outside surface of the pipe. In the next step, an induction bend is removed and sent for inspection and measurement of tolerances. The final step for the induction bend is the use of post-bend heat treatments for stress relieving, normalizing, etc. You can see a schematic induction bending, schematic diagram of an induction bending machine where you can see the pusher, bend roll, heat transformer, induction coil, bend clamp, bend arm and the job which is a pipe. Hot or induction bending are normally produced in a standard bend angles 45 degree, 90 degree etc. However, depending on the requirement, they can be customized made to specific bend angle. Compound out of plane bends in a single joint of pipe can also be produced. The bend radius for induction bending is specified as a function of the normal pipe diameter D like 5D, 30D, 60D bends etc. The important parameters that affect the induction bending process are pipe diameter, surface contamination, process parameters like temperature, speed, cooling rate, etc., bend radius, bend angle, process interruptions, hardenability of the pipe material, etc. The 
the induction bending acceptance standard or the manufacturing standard as the complex induction bending process involves various types of producing bends it must be controlled precisely to produce quality items different codes and standard govern this process the most conventional and widely used standards for the induction bends are asmi b16.49 and iso 15590-1 application of induction bend the majority of the induction bends are found in the pipeline systems for liquid and gas transportation additionally they are found in applications requiring large diameter bends with precision and reliability where the laminar smooth flow is required typical applications of induction bends include the following industries onshore and offshore pipeline in the oil and gas sector the refinery chemical and petrochemical sector power plants industrial equipment infrastructure construction and steel building construction that is bridges construction art objects roller coasters etc offshore energy j tube s tube metallurgical industries ship building etc benefits of hot induction bending better mechanical properties the hot induction bend method ensures the mechanical properties of the main pipe comparing with the cold bend and welded solutions reduces weld and nd costs hot bend is a good way to reduce the number of welds and non destructive testing cost and risk of the material rapid manufacturing induction bending is highly effective way of pipe bending as it is fast precise and with few errors lower risk of wall thinning and deformation of the cross section thin wall pipe can easily be bent less costly and available faster traditional components uniform hardness and thickness smooth flow due to large radii reducing friction wear and pump energy no pipe wrinkles only a straight pipe is required for induction bending precise bending radius and angle diverse bending like square pipe flat bar i beam h beam and channel section can be used for bending with hot induction bending technology so guys in this context i will tell in the pipeline manufacturing or piping if you want to do hot induction bending it cannot be done on site we need company approved vendor to manufacture it their shop are specially customized and approved for this type of work this is not easy to do at site so at the site we are using always cold preform bending with a simple pipe bending machine for the pipeline construction this will be our next video be online with me if you like the way of my teaching please share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button thank you signing off shoms